Denise Joy, and I tackle some of the most challenging rooms in a home and turn them into a destination the homeowners will love. In one weekend, using paint, repurposed furniture, a few budget-friendly new and second-hand purchases, along with some good old DIY sweat equity from the homeowner, I sprinkle my magic pixie dust, creating beautifully curated spaces. Trust me, it's not just a room makeover, it transforms your life. In every episode, I give you a backstage pass to see it all. The prep, the process, and the dramatic before and after reveal. In episode three, I transform a crowded, cluttered storage basement into a modern, chic haven to support a college student forced to do college from home due to COVID. How did I go from this to this? Let me show you how. Here in episode three, a few of my design challenges were to create five distinct zones in a fairly small basement space, reuse furniture the homeowner already had, and artwork the homeowner's daughter had already purchased. And lastly, to design the space as a surprise for the homeowner's daughter. Can somebody say pressure? This redesign was inspired when my homeowner saw episode one of DIY Duo Redesign and she loved the digital recording lounge that I created. She reached out to me and said, Denise, I need your magic pixie dust. This basement presented quite a challenge. It has an awkward layout and the space isn't being used well at all. Maybe you have a similar issue in your home. The tips I'm gonna show you in this video are going to give you a ton of ideas. The main goals the homeowner wants me to achieve improve the overall vibe in the room, softer, cozier floor covering, warm up the walls, improve the task lighting, make this a space that her college-aged daughter won't want to leave. That's a pretty big list. Trust me, when I finish, it'll be hard to believe we are in the same home. Good morning, it's day one of DIY Duo Redesign. I am redesigning a basement space for a college student who had to relocate because of COVID and her family want to give her sort of a dorm-like experience doing school from home. And that's exactly what I'm going to deliver. Hi Denise, it's Lawanda. I am impressed and beyond grateful for your vision and your generosity of spirit in the design that you created and made happen in the space. Of course, the homeowner has to do their DIY. And in this case, it was cleaning and clearing out the space. This was a two day project and I had three custom projects to complete. One, modernize the client's childhood dresser with paint. Two, paint two accent walls. And three, stencil one wall. The homeowner's daughter has owned this dresser for 20 years. Yes, ma'am, it's time for revamp. Reviving furniture with paint is an excellent way to get that custom on a budget look without breaking the bank. With just a little bit of sanding and two coats of paint, this dresser has the modern fresh look the client is going to love. If you want to do this easy project at your home, the supplies you'll need are in the description box below. For project two, I'm painting two accent walls. The first one in the bedroom zone. The homeowner's daughter wanted to really warm up the walls with some color. To accomplish this goal, I used a vibrant but muted tone of orange called Raucous Orange by Bayer. You can pick it up at Home Depot. The second accent wall is located in the lounge zone. 
Again, the goal was to really warm the space up, to get rid of that blah white and give the room some life. Here's a tip for choosing paint color. Either match your color to your home's furniture or your home's decor. The colors of the two accent walls were actually pulled from the artwork that the client had already purchased. So I know she's going to love it. This color is called Alchemy from Bayer. Stenciling is a terrific way to create a feature wall. In this case, I didn't stencil the entire wall, just a portion. If you've been excited about trying stenciling out, this is a great tip for you. You don't have to stencil the entire wall to get a lot of bang for your effort. Here are three tips to help you get comfortable with stenciling any surface. Number one, select a stencil with straight lines versus florals or lots of curves. Number two, make sure you use painter's tape to secure your stencil on your surface to keep it flat. And number three, be sure to use a six inch sponge roller. And when you put paint on there, use very little. I also completed two custom projects in advance of the installation. I transformed a vintage dresser into a TV stand with paint and stenciling, and I also custom designed and hand painted a footstool poof. Be sure to cover your floors whenever you're painting. There's tons of things you can use, old sheets, drop cloths, tarps, or even plastic covering, whatever you do, be sure to cover your floors. You don't want to create a ton of cleanup unnecessarily. Now it's time to check off one of our design goals. Comfortable, soft floor covering that really ups that cozy factor. One for the lounge zone and the other for the workout zone. This new floor lamp will bring much needed task lighting to the room and greatly improve the ambiance in the space. Let me tell y'all, day one was a beast. Next up is day two, where the real fun begins. Curating the space to make it feel like a home that's lived in and a destination she'll love. Good morning, it's day two of DIY Duo Redesign, episode number three. Check out that paint back there, you guys. Oh my God, the dramatic before and after is coming up at the end of this episode. My charge was to create five zones in this basement environment, and if I must say so, I have impressed myself. It's definitely nice to have a laundry area. But the homeowner wanted this area to be masked and for it to blend in with the rest of the aesthetic of the space. So my solution? Hang a gorgeous pair of grapes and voila! Problem solved! I of course love to shop someone's home. Repurposing items the homeowner already has is a great way to keep things custom on a budget. Adding a pair of curtains is a terrific way to really refresh and upgrade the feel of a room. I picked up this pair of curtains at the secondhand store. They were a little long, so I pulled out my sewing machine, hemmed them, then steamed them, and now this room has a whole new look. The bedroom zone was a very important zone. The client wanted to get a better night's sleep. To support her, I'm filling the room with calming and serene colors and energy. Most of my clients have never worked with a designer before, but when they're ready to relinquish control, they call me. I take them on a journey of curated custom on a budget design. And when I see my client's reaction, the look on their faces lets me know it was worth every minute.
It's definitely hard to believe we're in the same home. Next up, the reveal. Because it's time to give Afia her fresh start. My daughter lost her senior year of college uh, due to the pandemic. I wanted her to have something embracing and something that showed her how much I love her. And you, you created that for us. Wow! <laughs> oh my god! This is a whole other place! And you painted! I love this color. When I started, the basement lacked functionality and personality. Now that I've added space planning, there are five distinct zones. I've added loads of color, and the basement is now warm and cozy. This is perfect. This is warm. I love like oranges and yellows, and this just feels like all warm and light because it was all white walls, and it felt sort of sterile. But I didn't know what to do with that. So your vision is incredible. This is so cool. There's more art. I love this lamp. Hit that like button and remember to hit the notification bell so you get the announcement when the videos drop. Never had a design space before. And the artwork's perfect. Oh, and there's a whole thing here. <laughs> nice. It's so funny, my mom was like, oh, I never see you anymore. <laughs> Um, because I usually, I used to like take all my Zoom calls on the couch upstairs because it was like a better background and now I took all my calls right here because like, this is cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I spend too much time watching TV in my bed and I really need to like prioritize my sleep and putting the TV and the couch in one space really like creates those barriers and it makes you move between spaces and the way we've all been kind of stuck in the house right now, you need to get up and move and stretch your legs. Um, Oh my god. <laughs> I never thought this space could look so incredible. I love all the oranges and all the blues. I didn't know how those colors would come together. And the artwork works perfectly. I honestly thought this was a whole different dresser. I've had this dresser since I was like five. <laughs> and you painted it and it looks like a whole different thing. I was so ready to just like update it and go to the next thing. But you completely repurposed it. Be sure to subscribe so you do not miss a single episode of DIY Duo Redesign. I'm going to be reading in this corner for the rest of my life. And I'm okay with that. And this is hand-painted. I love this. Oh, I love this so much. Yes, this is incredible. So I really like, I should be able to like, lay out my yoga mat <laughs> and do things regularly. Uh, so I'm excited to live in this space. <laughs> I'm moving down here. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. It's all so perfect. It was funny, last night Yao was like, I think you're gonna like <laughs> and Yao like, gives no commentary on anything. Do you feel that? I do. That was the goal. <laughs> <laughs> that was this the goal. This is my birthday, Christmas, Kwanzaa, <laughs> everything. Now Afia has a fresh start, a cozy space with new modern lines. Look at this room. I was not ready for this. Oh my God. Ah, I'm going to cry. Hey, let me know if I accomplished all of my goals. Yep, it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect, because this right here was so, ah. Another successful DIY duo redesign, helping homeowners make their home custom on a budget and into a destination they'll love. Hi everyone, um, 
I'm Afia, and I'm just gonna talk for a quick second about how incredible this space has been for me. This whole project was a surprise for me. I knew it was gonna happen, but I didn't know what it was gonna look like. I wasn't in any of the meetings. I just gave my mom the artwork that I had and was like, hopefully y'all can incorporate this because I don't really wanna buy anymore. But I really love the pieces I bought and really Miss Denise, like shout out to my mom for making it happen. But I think I am continuously the recipient of all of Miss Denise's talents. A little bit about me. I am a senior at Harvard right now, finishing up my last semester, so I'm off cycle. I decided to try and finish in three and a half years instead of four. So this is actually finals week for me. And so while this space kind of came into fruition a few weeks before finishing, this was kind of a great transition out of my undergraduate experience into what's gonna be next. We all got sent home because of COVID-19, so I wasn't on campus, I didn't feel that last little bit. Now we're really trying to figure out what life is gonna be like next. And it's great to just be in a space that feels warm and inviting and that you really want to be in. Funny, my mom was like, oh, I never see you anymore. <laughs> uh, because I usually, I used to like take all my Zoom calls on the couch upstairs. Now I took all my calls right here because like, this is cute. <laughs> and I love seeing all the little bits of me that I envisioned for myself and the bits of me that I didn't envision for myself. That the people around me, that my mom and Miss Denise, who is a former teacher of mine, all of that creativity just flows out in this space and I, I'm so, so grateful. Lastly, leave me a comment. Let me know what kinds of rooms you'd like to see me transform and I'll make sure to deliver.